Hayden, it, it, it seemed like you guys got about as much space in, in the secondary as, as, you have, as you guys have all season. What kind of goes into to, to sort of getting as open as you did? Um, it starts with Coach Roper. I mean, we put in the game plan. We played a lot of quarters and we had some coverage beaters out there. But I think for the whole game, we kind of just shot ourselves in the foot and turnovers and just inopportune times. But yeah. Bryce, can, can you talk a little bit about how you guys defended Flowers and, and, and just think you frustrated them more in the second half and allowed you guys to crawl back into the ball game? Um, you know, they just got to keep guys like that in the pocket. Uh, in the first half, we allowed them to get you know outside the pocket a little bit too much. Um, and, you know, he was able to just make plays downfield. Um, but, you know, like Hayden said, you know, we can't make mistakes against a good team like that. Um, you know, they were 10-2 for a reason. They beat a lot of good teams. So um, we just had to go out there and, and you know, play play South Carolina football. And um, we didn't do that in the first half. The second half, we, you know, we turned it around. But, you know, when you're playing against teams like that, it's, it gets a little too late when you give up three scores in the first half. So. Bryce, so talk about your defense. Um, it looked like a record. Uh, a version of Tampa too, where your middle back was dropping really about twenty yards deep. What were y'all thinking in that defense? Um, you know, just a defense that you know kind of confused a uh, running quarterback. Um, you know, we just dropping a little bit. You know, dropping our linebacker off the line of scrimmage. You know, just to try to spy him um, and have somebody deep in the middle of the field. Um, but you know, that's just a, a scheme that we run. You know, trying to limit what he could do outside of the pocket. Hey. Just what do you make of Jake's performance, and what was he kind of telling you guys in the huddle when you're down 18 at the report? You know, Jake really never gets negative. I mean, he just goes drive to drive. I mean, some negative stuff happened, you know, pick six and all that, but I mean, he bounces back and he's just out there and led us back to overtime. Bryson, taking through the uh, play in overtime, just what happened on that, the touchdown that they had where you got wide open in the end zone? Um, it looked like. You know, just a guy ran up the seam, and, you know, he was scrambling around. And, um, you know, you just got to recover with, you know, a scrambling quarterback. Um, you got to cover twice, and we didn't cover twice. So, you know, the result was what it was, a touchdown. Uh, Bryson, on, the, on, on their last touchdown in, in regulation, where the running back kind of got open deep, was someone supposed to pick him up, or what kind of happens there? Yeah, we just had a coverage blitz. Um, and, you know, like I said, scrambling around in the pocket, you got to cover twice. Um, somebody stepped up in the secondary, and, you know, he just dumped it over the top. Hayden, I know you guys were kind of taking what they gave you today from an offensive standpoint, but do you look at this performance and think this is what you guys can do next year? I mean, absolutely. I mean, we have everybody but Zandy coming back. I mean, there's a lot of firepower, and Jake's only going to get better. He's going to mature and get older. He's going to have a year of experience under his belt, so it's going to be fun next year. Hey, and just talk about your, your performance today. Maybe probably your best game of the season, first receiving touchdown. I guess what were you seeing out there, you know, from the defense? It's just kind of some stuff that Coach Rope put in, um, me through the middle, just creating mismatches. but. You know, like I've, I've said to you guys the whole year, I don't really care about numbers. I mean, I want to win the game. And Bryson, just talk about uh, the defense being energized, seeing the offense produce, you know, come back down 18, you know, you guys going to overtime, I guess, as a defense, I guess, how energized were you guys? What are you guys saying to each other? Um, I mean, we were very energized. Uh, once we once we got the turnover, um, you know, we saw the offense start clicking, and we saw a change in momentum. But, um, you know, it's all – you know, it really doesn't matter when you don't get the victory. Um, it it, it kind of, you know, hurts a little bit. But, uh, you know, we just got to rebuild and, you know, just keep getting better. Um, and that's pretty much it. Hey, you were just talking about next year a little bit. I mean, you're not thinking NFL or anything like that? No, I'm 100% coming back. For both guys, how do you assess uh, this first year and Coach Muschamp? What do you guys think the future looks like? Well, we're only going to get better. Um, on defense, I think we're only losing, you know, starters, I think we're only losing um, Darius English and Quay Lewis. Uh, so, I mean, everyone's coming back. We just got to keep improving. Uh, we just got to keep getting better. We got to, you know, focus on the little things. That's what Coach Mills Temple was just talking to us about. We got to focus more on the little things, and that starts when we get back in January. And, you know, these feelings of the past two games, we got to remember this. And, you know, that, that's got to motivate us while we're, you know, training in the offseason, training in the summer. And when we get back around this fall, we got a number of opportunities to get better and, and win football games. Uh, Hayden, this being your first bowl experience, what can you kind of take from these last few weeks as you kind of carry into the offseason? You know, it's a long season. I think it's 
It's huge if you can just be able to take care of your body. I, mean, I think we've been at it for 22 weeks now. So just with our practice being so physical, you really have to focus on taking care of yourself. From a fan experience standpoint, how important was it to see the fans rally behind you guys in the second half as well as into overtime? Um, it was huge. Uh, I feel like, you know, we had the best fans in the country. I say that all the time, and I've been saying that, you know, since South Carolina offered me. Just watching the fans in Williams Bryce and watching how we travel to bowl games, travel to away games. Um, you know, we love the fan support. And, you know, just being on the field and hearing your crowd get as loud as it is at a home game, um, that's really that really means a lot to us. And I feel like it energized us in the fourth quarter. Yeah, that was huge. I mean, our fans are awesome, like Bryson said. And they traveled all the way to Alabama to come and watch us play. And we can't thank them enough for what they've done for us this year. It's awesome to play in front of those, those fans. We'll take two more questions, one right here. For either of you guys, um, coming out of a game like this, is there anything that you can be able to take from this, or is it kind of going to hit the reset button, kind of start on to 2017? Um, you know, you could take the way that we battle back. Um, you know, we just handled adversity really well this season. Um, you know, not at all times we weren't we weren't able to you know finish or you know win the game, but um, just the way that we we battled back. Um, you know, being a young team and handling adversity and having all the adversity you know that's handed to us this season, you know, through every phase, um, it's it's big for us to you know take those experiences and you know take our weapons while while we're down and then you know rebuild next year and you know dish them out. Anything else? All right, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks.